Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the glass effects found in the Simple Glass Style Kits in Final Cut Pro 10. Now if you are not familiar with Rampant Style Kits, head on over to RampantStyleKits.com and check out all the amazing packs that Rampant has put together for your video needs. Everything from emojis all the way to business kits, Rampant has your video style needs covered and it's super easy to use them and I'm going to show you how. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this is all about how to use the glass effects from Simple Glass in FCPX. So let's jump over to Final Cut and get started. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you four different techniques with these glass effects. I'm going to show you a simple glass effect technique, which is just putting your video inside. I'm going to show you how to add text to your glass effects to make it this really cool uh, combo here. Then I'm going to show you how to add flares to your effects. And then we're going to do a color effect showing you how to make this vintage look right here. All of these are super easy and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's first start with our very first example and that's going to be right here. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to grab any glass effect that we'd like to use. You're probably asking yourself, what is a glass effect? Well, if I go ahead and play this through. A glass effect, as you can see, is basically a mat that's going to animate on and then it's going to animate off. It's a really cool way to add this effect. So. I'm going to put this into list mode so I can see all of my file names and I'm going to be grabbing glass number 001. It's the slant left. All you do is grab it and drag it and drop it on your on top of your video clip just like this. So if we play that through, you'll see there's our animation. It looks wonderful. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to get this video inside this glass effect right here. How do we do that? Well, with our glass effect selected, we're going to come up to the inspector change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha and poof, it's inside. Perfect. Now we have the video inside. How do we get video back here in this black area? Well, we're going to make a copy of our video layer by holding down option, dragging up a layer and then putting our video up on top of there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, with this video selected, we're going to go back to our inspector, change the blend mode from normal to behind. Now, are, we're going to be affecting this layer down here. So all of our glass effects are going to be in our primary storyline right here. So if I go back to my inspector and I select this, now you can see I'm adjusting the scale on the video found inside the glass effect. Pretty cool. So I, all I did was increase the scale just a little bit and you can also play with the uh, 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 positioning for the Y wherever you like it. Maybe you like it right there and then we can rewind that. And there you go. It looks like you have this magnification, this piece of glass coming over and magnifying your scene. I love that. Now there's only one other thing that I like to do here. You can stop here and you can have this effect, which looks really cool, but I like one to go one more step further and I like to add a blur. So I'm going to come to my effects panel, select blur, grab my Gaussian blur, and I'm going to drag my Gaussian blur down to my bottom layer. And you'll see here, here's what it looks like natively as it comes in. And maybe that blur is a little bit too much. So I'm going to come up to my inspector and just going to dial that Gaussian blur back just a little bit. So it looks like frosted glass. And now if we rewind that, there you go. Now you have this really cool glass effect and it looks awesome. And that was super easy to do. All right, perfect. Now let's move on to the second example. And we're going to use the same techniques that we just learned in example one. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to grab my, my glass effect. I'm going to use this slant left number six drag it down, drop it in. I'm going to cinch up my glass effect to match my video clip. And here's what my glass looks like over my, my video. And I love to preview the glass effects like this because I like to see how it's going to look on my actual video behind here. I like the way she looks and it comes out with it right here, especially when she looks up right there, it comes out. So if, if I didn't like this clip, I could come up here, grab maybe number nine, come down, hold over top, and then replace it. And then it's going to give you the same thing. Then you can say, okay, see, so and that, that one's kind of interesting, but it has that very fast thing. So I like the one I just had. So that's a great way to preview your, your glass effects and what they're going to look like on top of your footage. All right. So we have our glass effect on there. Let's go ahead and first get this video inside here. So with our glass effect selected, we're going to go to the blend mode, change it from normal to stencil alpha. There we go. Now we have to put video back here in the black area. So we're going to make a copy of this bottom layer, hold down option, drag up, make a copy. And now we have to put this video behind everything. So we're going to click behind. Now we can come down here and we can adjust things like scale. If I come back here a little bit, you can adjust the position 
You can do all kinds of stuff here. All right, so now let's roll that through. And that looks really cool. All right, again, you could stop here or you could add some more effects to this, like you could add your blur. So we can go grab the Gaussian blur, drop it on the bottom, and then dial that back a lot, because that's a little bit too much blur. Now if we run that through, all right, perfect. Now the video looks great. Now let's talk about adding those, that text, right? Those titles. So go to your title tool. You can grab any title in here that you would like. I'm just going to grab a custom title, a very simple title. And I'm going to first start with it on top of my video. I'm going to make sure it matches my video. And I'm just going to come to the title tool and I'm going to type in my title and I'm going to put the word beautiful. So B E A U T I F U L. And then I'm going to change the font. And I like a font called the bold font. And then let's adjust the size and then we can adjust the position and then we can adjust the color. This is just a simple title tool. Looks good. All right, perfect. Now we have this title on here and like that. Now you'll notice first that it's the, the class effect is not going over top of this. Well, that's because of the position. And first thing we have to do is we have to change this to, from normal to behind. So if we go back to our video inspector, normal to behind, it's going to disappear. And all we have to do is place it underneath our first video clip now if you've rolled this through you'll see that the glass effect is actually affecting the title as well okay so that's perfect that's step number one now if we wanted to add some motion here to this we can do that with some keyframes so we can if our because our glass effect is coming in from right to left maybe i want my title to go from left to right so i can start over here we can reposition this over here and i don't want it to go all the way out put a keyframe and then come to the end and add another keyframe. And then if I play this through, okay, that looks lovely. And what you'll notice here is you'll notice that there's a, the title is starting out slow, it goes faster, and then it slows down at the end. Well, our keyframes right now are easing in and easing out. If you want your keyframes to be, to not do that and be, have the same speed, as your um, glass effect. I like to go in here and press right click, say show video animation. I like to go to my transform here and go to position and my keyframes are right here. They're both right here. I like to right click on that and say linear and say linear. So with this um, animation, I like it to be the same. So it has the same speed all the way across. Okay, that looks beautiful. All right, so we have this first title. Everything looks great. Again, you could stop here. But what if you wanted to add this text inside your mat? So let's say right here. What if you wanted text inside here? Not a problem. We can actually start by copying this. So hold option and drag. We're going to drag this one down underneath our glass effect because we want it to be inside. Right now you can't see anything because we copied this and it has this blend mode of behind. So change that to normal and you'll see it pop on. Now you can work with the this title. You can reposition it like that. See? or we can move it go up. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna get rid of these keyframe. Uh, so I'm gonna start again, so let's move it up. And let's scale it up some and move the X over. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit too scaled up. Again, you can play with these and make it, make it look as really cool as you want. And then if we roll this through, you'll see there's your title. And what if we wanted to, let's add a little blur to that. Maybe not that much. And let's dial down the opacity a little bit as well. Okay. And we have this title now. And if we want to give that some movement, we can do that. So let's add some keyframes. That's really easy. Let's first find a frame where we can see the title. And let's go back to our X. Oops, wrong one. One down here. Let's go to our X and let's move it over here. Put a keyframe and move it to the beginning and then put a keyframe. And then we're going to move it to the end and add another keyframe. So now our title's going across and I'm going to do the same thing with the keyframe easy ease and all that. So I'm going to put position and I'm going to say linear and I'm going to say linear. Close that out. So now let's play that through. 
See that? Now we have this really cool title that's moving with our glass effect. I love the way that looks. And we can get even fancier by adding another title so I can hold down option, duplicate that. Let's go back into the title adjustment. Let's pick a new font. I like Monteserrat. It's a great font. Again, you can get as creative as you want here. And I want to take off the blur. And I want to change this to thin. And let's make it a little smaller. And let's reposition it. Make it a little smaller. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's add it right there and let's rewind that. And it already has that motion on it because we just copied it from our last title. So there you go. It looks so awesome. I love the way that looks. It's so pretty. I love the way the glass effect is affecting the video. And then the text, it looks like it's being duplicated and sort of um, copied up there as well. I love the way that looks. Now, the only last thing I did is I added an effect to our back layer here behind the glass effect. So inside here, and you can add as many effects as you want. And there are flare effects in this kit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one and I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to put it underneath my titles and I'm going to shrink it up. And the very first thing you're going to notice is it doesn't quite fit. That's because Final Cut is fitting this to fill your frame. So all you need to do is go to the spatial conform and change that to fill. And then we're going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now, if I rewind, rewind that and play it through, you'll see this really cool flare just on the glass effect. Now you can also come back here and you can adjust the opacity on the flares. Maybe I just wanted a little bit a little bit there. If you change this to 4K, if I say none, I can now work with the position. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Let's rewind that and play it back again. Play that through. That is gorgeous. I love the way that looks. Okay, so there's a lot of fun things you can do with these glass effects. All right, let's keep moving on. Let's go to technique number three. And this is going to basically be a review of technique one and two, but we're going to add a flare again to the behind to behind our video. So let's go to our glass effects first. Let's choose our glass effect. I'm going to use number four. I'm going to bring it in, drop it down, cinch it up. So here's what our glass effect looks like. Perfect. Now select your glass effect, come to the blend mode, change it from normal to stencil alpha pops in there. Now let's make a copy of our video, drag it above your glass effect and change blend mode from normal to behind. Now we can come down here and we can affect this video layer here so I can scale it up. I can then move it around and we can play that through to see what it looks like. It looks lovely. Oh, I love the way that looks. And then we can add a Gaussian blur or we can just add a flare effect, which I'm going to do right now. And I like this flare effect right here. I like how it pops on right there. So I'm going to start here, call that my in, and then call that my out. Grab that, drag it down. I'm going to place it underneath my glass effect like that. Stretch it out a little bit. I'm going to fix the spatial conform to fill and then change the blend mode from normal to screen. And now look at this. I'm going to rewind this and I'm going to play it through. And that looks so cool. It's a completely different effect than we've seen so far. I love that. And you can go in and fix the opacity if you want to turn it down a little bit. You can also change the flare to 4K by going to none. And then you have lots of room to play with sizing and positioning and all that stuff. So let's rewind that and play that through. Super, super cool. I love that. All right, let's move on to our very last technique which is this classic car right here. So let's go up and choose our glass effect. I'm going to use glass effect slant right number nine, grab it, drag it, drop it in, matches our video. So here's our effect comes across. All right, let's go up to the inspector, change blow mode from normal to stencil alpha. Perfect. Make a copy of our video clip, drag it on top, change that blend mode from normal to behind. And now we can affect our video clip on the bottom. We can scale it up some. We can move it around and we can look at what that looks like. Does it have that magnified look? It does. Maybe we can even adjust a little more. Perfect. And now we can add any kind of color effect down here that you want. So we can come over here to color and we can add black and white. So now when this comes across, 
It has a vintage feel. Okay, you can add any of these effects. So I can say undo. I can change it to sepia. Okay, so it has a really cool vintage feel. You can add any effect that you would like to. I'm going to keep it on black and white for this example, but feel free to use any of these effects in your effects panel that you'd like. All right, so here's our black and white over top of our red car. Now, one more thing you can do here is you can add some effects on here. And in this kit, there are dust effects. And I'm going to go ahead and grab one. I'm just going to drag it down. Make sure you put it underneath your glass effect if you want it to be inside your glass effect. Come over to our spatial conform, say fill, and then change the blend mode from normal to screen. And if I rewind this, you'll see that there's a very slight faint amount of, of dust here. Well, we can change that. We can make it super noticeable by doubling up our, our dust effects. So hold down option and just drag up. And you can make as many copies of dust as you want. Oops, that looks good. And let's rewind that and check it out. And play that through. And you'll see there the dust is really noticeable. It gives it this really cool vintage look. I love the way that looks. It looks awesome. And that's it. Now you know all the ins and outs of using the glass effects found in the simple glass style kits. As you can see, there are a lot of tricks you can do with the glass effects. I've only scratched the surface. Remember, you can add any built-in final cut effect in your, into your video because they are movie files. So get creative and have fun with it. If you're interested in more glass effects or any other Rampant Style Kit, head on over to RampantStyleKits.com and check out all the cool packs that Rampant has put together for your needs. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.